Blue song by Viva Doobie. I have been told there's a minion who plays guitar and his name is Stuart. I haven't seen any of those movies. The minion movies or the Despicable Me movies. Um, I've also been told my hair looks like Stuart the minion. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. I do not wear overalls. Minions wear overalls. Why, <laughs> why did I start the... Why did I start the video like this? Are we gonna learn the song? Or are we gonna talk about minions all day? Standard tuning, capo on four. If you don't have a capo, you can still play it. You're just gonna play it down here and it's gonna sound too low. There are four chords in this entire song. Only four, that's it. There's one strumming pattern for the entire song. So, let's just do it already. The first chord is an A major chord. Let me show you the A major chord. Top string, we're not even gonna play it. The second string from the top, the A string is gonna be open. Point our finger on the second fret of the third string from the top, the D string. Middle finger, second fret on the G string, third string from the bottom. Ring finger, second fret on the second string from the bottom. The bottom string is just gonna be open, but if we're being totally honest, we're barely even gonna play that bottom string at all. I like to take my thumb, I like to bring it up over the top, and I like to touch the toppest of the strings to mute it so that we don't have that note just overpowering the whole chord. Um, if I'm being honest, this is how a bib doo plays a song, is with their th with her three fingers like this. Bing, bang, bong. Bingy, bing, bang, bong. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this fret is a little small, and my fingers aren't exactly comfortable in there, so I don't use my pointer finger. I use my middle finger on the D string, ring finger on the G string, pinky on the B string. Just more comfortable for me, but I don't, I do not believe there is a right or wrong way to play the A chord. You're gonna strum this chord six times, strumming down each time. I have a pick here, but it sounds good just using your thumb, look. Oh, I love it. So, top string is muted. I'm honestly, I'm not really trying to hit the bottom string. I'm just kind of aiming for the middle, the middle few strings. Just keeping it nice and lovely. Um, even though the strumming is just boom, 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 bing, bang, boom, bang, bing, bang, boom, boom, boom. I am thinking of it in groups of three. I'm thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You could, uh, if you care about this kind of thing, you could think of this song as a song in 12-8 or 6-8 time if you wanted. I'm not gonna explain what those mean. You can do that on your own time. I'm busy teaching the song, Glue Song by Biba Doobie. Hi, my name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. Why don't you go ahead and I'm gonna, I would like you to, uh, you have three options. You can like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, or you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. And then additional fourth option, you can say, hello, Stuart, in the comments. This is me d doing option four in the comments on this day. It's February 8th today. Not sure when I'm gonna put this video up though. I feel like, Here's what I think happened. I think my brain went, this song is short and easy. You'll be able to get this video done in no time. So let's go and hurry up and talk about today's date. Let's talk about minions. Oh my God, we've, on we've only done one chord. This is a problem. This is a problem. We've got the A chord. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. Six strums on the A. At this point in time, we're going to go to the F sharp minor seven chord. Let me show you what that is. Pointer finger, second fret up on the top string. The next string, second string from the top, it can be open or if it gets muted by your pointer finger, perfectly acceptable, might even sound better that way. Middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top, the D string. Ring finger, second fret on the G string. That is the third string from the bottom. Uh, and that's, I think that's gonna be it. 
That's that's all we're gonna do. She's gonna do six strums on this chord, and you're just gonna aim for like the top four strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should we practice those first two? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Okay, wait, too fast, too fast, too fast. Start with the A. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch to the next one. Yes, good job. Good job. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. See that little hop? My fingers just do a tiny little hop there. That's the hardest switch in the song, I'm gonna tell you that right now. The next one is my favorite switch in the song, however. We go from this F sharp minor seven to a B seven. Here's what happens. You'll, so you're like this, you're like two, open, two, two. Lift up your pointer finger and lift up your middle finger, but keep your ring finger in that same spot. Your ring finger is going to remain on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the top, the A string. Put your pointer finger on the first fret of the third string from the top, the D string. Do you see the shape of the chord? Now, some, some of you might know that it, a full-on B7 chord involves the pinky going down to the bottom string on the second fret. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that for two reasons. One, we're not even gonna play the bottom string. We're just gonna strum the middle few strings. But the other reason is because even if you hit the bottom string, for this song, it kind of sounds cool. B7 chord, get your thumb up over the top, mute the top string. So, so far, we have three chords. We have A, then the F sharp minor seven, then to the B7 chord. Oh, six strums on that B7 chord. Great job, love it, I'm so proud of you. At this point, easiest switch in the entire song. We're gonna go from this B7 to a B minor seven. But Stuart, I don't know how to play a B minor seven, or I know how to play it, and I know exactly what you're gonna do. No, you don't know what I'm gonna do because it's a unique way of doing it. This is our B7 chord. All you have to do, get rid of your pointer finger. You just get rid of your pointer finger. B minor seven chord. Um, Six strums on that B minor seven chord. That's that's the whole song. Let's play it slowly together. One, two, three, beep, boop, bee. Oh. Oh, that was the worst I've ever done. Okay, okay. There we go. Look at the chords that I can play. I feel so great on this wonderful day. We just start over again, over and over, and we keep on playing each chord six times until we get to the end. Let me, this is annoying, let me show you what we do when we get to the end. When you get to the B minor seven, just slow down, slow down, and then one final slow strum on the A chord. My name is Stuart. Thank you for joining me on this glue song by Baby Doobie guitar tutorial video. Please talk about minions in the comments.